In this video, I show you how to make games download faster on Xbox, as well as just in general getting a bit of a faster connection on your console. So if you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do watch this guide right until the end to know all of the different sort of methods I'll be showing you to try and increase your internet connection on your Xbox. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. So I thought I'd go and put some background gameplay just while I go and explain a few of the different methods I want to go and talk about. So as you probably well know yourself, games are getting huge these days. Some of them are even 80 gigabytes to download. So I really want to go and show you a few different ways of being able to go and sort of speed up your internet. But just a quick note, sometimes you are just gonna have to go and get a different internet package, but it's worth, it is worth trying a few of these tips in this video as they may go and help you out. So the first thing I want to recommend doing is doing a speed test on your Xbox just to see what the current speeds are. To do that, from general settings, all you want to do is click on network and then test network connection or test network or something like that and go and see what you currently get as then we'll be able to see if there are any improvements um, from anything we're going to go and try. The first thing I want to go and talk about is using Ethernet. Now you probably heard this before and you're thinking, I'm not near a router. Now I've got a way to go and get past this. So it's something called a power line network. And what this does, it allows you to move your internet connection with an Ethernet through your electricity. And then you can go and have an Ethernet any way you want as long as there's a power plug so you can have your you know router downstairs but you can still get ethernet upstairs with these power lines so honestly it's really worthwhile i'll put a link to one in down below so go and check that out if you're interested However, if Ethernet is still not an option, even with a power line adapter, then what you want to do is on your wireless, you want to go and make sure you're on your five gigahertz network. Every router is a bit different, but some routers have two networks, a five gigahertz one and a 2.4. Five gigahertz seems to have like a less of a radius, but it's a lot more powerful. So if you can join the five gigahertz one, then I recommend joining that. Now, another thing I recommend is using a manual DNS. So to get your DNS settings from general, go to network settings and then go to advance and there's gonna be a DNS option. Now with your DNS, it's basically how your Xbox connects to the internet. So what you can do is, is on your computer, you need to go and download a program such as something called Namebench, which is for Mac and Windows, or you can just go and get DNS Benchmark, which is just for Windows. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna find your best DNS address or server to go and connect your Xbox to. If you don't want to download anything, you can just go online and do some research about the best DNS addresses, but honestly, it's worth doing one on your computer because then it's gonna be most accurate for your Xbox. And this is quite obvious, but do just make sure your Xbox isn't trying to do any other updates and you're trying to download one game at a time, because otherwise if you're downloading two, it's gonna take even longer. And another thing I'd recommend doing is making sure not too many people are on your network because that will slow it down as well. So maybe you can go and do it at its quieter time, maybe overnight, as well as that, because in your neighborhood, if a lot of people are on the internet, it can sort of slow it down a bit, I've heard. So it's probably worth doing it overnight um, and maybe just waiting. And while you sleep, it will continue to download. Um, so that's gonna be a lot faster. And they're just a few free and paid tips you can go and test out. Of course, you can now go out and run a speed test now to see if any of these have made any differences, and I hope they have. But if you found this guide useful, please go down below and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for more. I look forward to catch you in the next one. Peace.